This way! Jack! Jack Joyce. Where's my brother? You might still be able to catch them. Paul? I'm sorry, Jack. I never wanted this. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well... Uh. Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? I'm sleepwalking. Step away! Right now! You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. <laughs> We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. I'm still waiting to wake up. Only way forward. Huh. Well, that's weird. Okay, doesn't last. Noted. When the fracture broke time, some objects became unstable. With my new abilities, I could manipulate their timelines, rewind them. There's still no word from Burke on Jack Joyce's position. Very well. Ready a chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Monarch had bought out the entire industrial district for their operation. It'd make for an easy escape. Looks like some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign. Filming confession videos. It's here! Joyce is here! Go check it out! Grenade! 
That's for Bill. There we go. What the hell is that? Hello? Jack, this is Beth Wilder. Beth? I'm... You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a monarch clonin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks? If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's where I'm... No! Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. But Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find him. They both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through. Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized a place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. I did what you said, okay? Please, please just let me go. You did good, Amy. The broadcast just went out, but Hatch wants a follow-up confession. You got the script? Yeah, this one's more reflective. Like, wish we could undo what we done, sort of deal. Dave will feed you the lines. Dave? You're using your names. You're not letting me go, are you? You're never letting me go. Wait, you know me? What's going on? I am so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? What is this place? They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. They were armed. Hey, whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. Listen, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you. The security station is right over there. Uh, oh, I knew Marduk had a dark side, but this? They're <coughs> controlling the entire media, everything. They can't cover this up. It's too big. <laughs> they can, trust me. Locked. Ah, okay, there must be a gate control room somewhere. Hey, it worked. It's not holding long. I don't think you're fast enough. That could be fixed. Oh my god. You're just, you're just like them. Like who? I saw them on the way in. These geared up soldiers that blink in and out. Okay. Well, that's something to look forward to. No. We're locked out. Maybe you can climb through that open window on the second floor? Yeah, that should work. Wait here.
Okay, well, I'll fill you in with what I know, but when you put the pieces together, it all goes banana pancakes. <coughs> so everyone thinks that Monica is a smart asshole. Well, that's <coughs> what I'm Is that another one of those? I'm starting to get the hang of this. Need to get up to that old window. Made it. Now to get to that door. Finally. Good work. I need to make this right. I'm gonna use the terminal up here and try and dig up what Manoch's really up to. So sorry, Jack. They forced me to do it. I, I know. Of Jack Joyce. There's nothing you could have done. Terrifying scene down there. We really that map over there should help you figure out a lot. Record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. Round zero. That's the same area my brother used to have his workshop. I may have to pass through there to get to Paul. Paul, as in Paul Serene. That's why you're going to the dry docks. We have unfinished business. You may want to stay here until I'm done. Yeah, I think you're right. I'll open the door for you. Okay, stay in contact. Find a radio, I'll be on channel three. And be careful. Yeah, you don't. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, I heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... What was that? Did I scream enough for you? My powers were unpredictable. They kept growing by leaps and bounds. Still kicking. Monarch radio is lighting up. They heard a noise and know you're coming. Be careful out there. Thanks for the heads up. We got contact! Oh, Shotgunner advancing on hostile!
Yeah. Any idea where I go next? Well, before you said hi, Gatehouse Squad was talking about activating security measures to lock some door on the second floor. That's a start. Thanks. Looks like a way out. Now, how do I get it open? CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. Hormone levels will lower to a point that renders Ground Zero obsolete in the near future. Target sighted! Engage it! Our presentation to make sure that there is a hostile situation underway. Thank <laughs> you. 
something I can use to get up there. The fracture is Sophia more rapidly than Mr. Serene had anticipated. Monarch's resident chronot scientist. Chronon levels were lower to a point that she must know a lot of the same stuff will be. I'm queuing up the presentation. Closer, I think. Uh, now, which way is the dry dock? Okay, looks like the trailer has power now. I got that briefcase we lifted from William Joyce's car. Laid out the contents in the trailer. You want me to go through? No, no. Serene wants the first look. Till then, hands off. I got that briefcase we lifted from William Joyce's car. Laid out the Paul's men Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. The Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fraction. Wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. 
of the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no-no around here. Amy, I gotta go back for her. Don't. I'll pick her up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Palm, the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack? Don't do anything stupid. It's locked. There's gotta be another way to get through here. Workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation. I wanted to see. And it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks and answer. I got eyes on her! Flank target!
knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Oh, shit. And he never tried to stop it. <laughs> never told you what he did in that workshop at Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. It's the only way forward. Absolutely no entry. But I'm pretty sure that's more of a guideline than a rule. What the hell? What is this? to describe it. Will was gone, but <sighs> he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. <laughs> Need my grant extended another year. Please, Please don't do this. Don't do this. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It was impossible to crack.
was overwhelming. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock, I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. There's something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. What was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. Yeah. Jack, you have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? No use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you. Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! Stutters were getting bad. He was shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it could get much worse. But we both know it did.
Beth had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. Shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the van. That's for not listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. Babysitter? Are you kidding me? I got good intel off that computer. Ride my music. Deal with it. Who the fuck are you people?
What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in this briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury Swimming Hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. This building's been shut down for years. Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it. And I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. Yeah, I bet you like the paycheck too. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses, and Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Locked. Jack, that key you got from Will's briefcase. Okay, this is weird. I could swear this is the same cab I was in when I came to the university. It's a taxi. They all look the same, don't they? I'll check the license plate on Key my phone fit. and see if anything comes up, but I mean, it's a long shot. Can you find a way in, Jack? You shouldn't stay out here. There's no way in over here. I think I found a way in.
stunners aren't going away. <clears throat> Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. We need to keep our contact limited from this point forward. I'll find you on the counter missiles completely. No wonder you are always coming up with crazy shit. You owned this place since 1999? Why didn't you tell me, Will? Okay, May 17th, 1998. What the hell were you doing here, bro? I'm about to conduct the first time travel experiments with rats? Using my trusty pet mouse. Take a look around. Down here. <sighs> nice work. This note. It's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Well. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken, shit. What the? Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it, because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. It can't all be for nothing. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. July 4th. What was that? Beth Wilder. You recorded that for me in 2010? You told me to stay away from my workshop. What the fuck? But I couldn't just leave it there. You said the countermeasure's gone? The entire place is a disaster zone. It's not good. The countermeasure, gone. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. Safe. Help me push this out of the way. Our entire lives depend on it. You can't all be for nothing. Jack, you know what if your brother me? addressed that video to me. Hurry. I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish. But he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. Hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Is that? Yeah. I think so. The second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell does it look like? A round thing in the middle. I think. Mm. 
Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. You sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will needs to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we said at first. This could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. I can't insert the data. Controls are up here according to the monitor. Here goes nothing. Step. I need to set up the machine first. Okay, corridor, then the date. That was the order at the university. There's a light blinking here. Might be what you're looking for. These schematics are all in Will's writing. He did all of this. The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. Thank God. Um, is that supposed to do that? Will's key did that? Yeah. Key to a time machine and he left it in the trunk of his body. That's my brother in the hatch. Fuck. Let's just hope it still works. Something's wrong with the machine. Well, we don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop I'm trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's head of chronic research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no.
The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would...